How would you define immigration reform? <clears throat> I would define immigration reform as respecting rule of law. <laughs> we need to take things like citizenship and we need to take things like what it means to be an American a lot more seriously than we do right now. Well, I know how Washington's defining it, and they're calling that amnesty. I mean, they call it amnesty immigration reform. Uh, how, what I would call uh, real immigration reform would be, in fact, to uh, seal the borders off. Uh, uh, the people who were here illegally, deport them. Let them go back around, get back in line. If they're going to come back into the country, do it through the legal process. In my opinion, immigration reform is trying to uh, make the system a little bit better in terms of uh, getting here illegally, maybe not make the waiting process as long because I know it's a lot of time for it. I think it just means changing the, the system, changing the way that we document people who come to our country or the way that we allow them to function in our society and our workplace. There's, there's people on one side or the other and they you know it sounds like they're both saying we need reform but um, you know they want to go in different directions with it and I don't know really what's what's the best for our country. Fair's definition of reform is ultimately about making immigration great again by making sure it meets the priorities of the American people. That means ensuring it doesn't fuel dramatic population growth, undermine community and cultural cohesion, that it ensures good quality public education, a stable labor market with a, with a nice, secure, and stable American middle class, ensuring social justice, economic justice, which means labor equity, and the protective, the bargaining leverage of American workers is protected. It also means ensuring that the American people are the ones who again decide how many people come in, who, how many, and how you enforce the rules. Right now, the American people are not deciding because the rules are no longer enforced or they're not enforced adequately. If, no, if the rules aren't enforced, then we don't get to decide through Congress how many people get to come in and who they're going to be. So we need to get the borders under control with interior enforcement, secure documents, border control, interagency cooperation, and state and local federal uh, integration and cooperation as well. Then we need to set immigration levels at about 300,000, and for those immigrants we decide we do need, we should allow them to bring only spouse and unmarried minor children. We need to ensure that our asylum and refugee policies are advancing our, both our foreign and domestic policy interests and not susceptible to fraud. And we need to ensure that if we're going to have immigration at all, it has to be based on a needs assessment. What's the purpose? How does it advance our future goals? If we don't need immigration, we shouldn't have substantial amounts of it.